Unused, abandoned wells can present a contamination threat to groundwater and a physical threat to people or animals. If you use a water well, particularly if you live on property that has been occupied for many years, it is worth your time to investigate whether abandoned wells are on your land. It is estimated the United States has millions of abandoned wells. Some abandoned wells have simply been forgotten, fallen into a state of disrepair. Other abandoned wells are known but neglected. It is not uncommon for people or animals to fall into abandoned wells, resulting in injury or, even worse, death. A property owner could be liable if someone is injured or something is damaged because of an abandoned well on the property. Abandoned wells can also be a direct conduit for contamination from the land's surface to the groundwater, potentially polluting the aquifer that supplies drinking water to you or others. In addition to abandoned water wells, many other types of boreholes and wells may affect aquifers, mineral exportation boreholes, dewatering wells, and monitoring wells. If you own a water well, there are several steps you should take to ensure that you are not at risk from an abandoned well or borehole. First, survey the property. That may not be as easy as you think and may require some detective work on your part. Possible signs of an abandoned well or borehole include pipes sticking out of the ground, small buildings that may have been a well house, depressions in the ground, the presence of concrete, vaults, or pits, and out-of-use windmills. Other hints for finding abandoned wells or boreholes include the use of old maps, property plans, or property title documents, asking neighbors what they know, and considering whether additions to an old home might have covered up an abandoned well. If you find an abandoned well or borehole, the next step is to find a qualified water well system professional to assess and possibly plug the well. A contractor may do additional checking, including a records check. For more information about the well in question or other abandoned wells, if the contractor determines that the well should be safely closed down or decommissioned, he may start removing all materials from the well that may hinder proper plugging. Such material can include pump parts, pipe, wire, well screens, gravel, or other particulates at the bottom of the well. Once the borehole is properly prepared, including possible disinfection of the well, the contractor can use specialized grout to fill the well from the bottom up. The purpose of the special grout is to keep surface water from working its way into the borehole and to prevent water from different levels of the subsurface from mixing. Besides eliminating health and safety risks, the goal of well decommissioning is to return the subsurface to as normal as a condition as possible and protect the groundwater from contamination. The cost to decommission a well varies depending on factors including the depth and diameter of the well, the geology of the area, accessibility to the well, and the condition of the well. The property owner is generally liable for paying decommissioning costs. Some states have programs that will help pay the cost of water well decommissioning. To check on your state, visit wellowner.org and click on Water Well Basics, Well Construction Agencies.